How close is Major League Soccer to overtaking the National Hockey League? The MLS has been on a tear recently. It's added eight franchises in the past five years and is set to bring in two more. Crowd attendance and franchise values are soaring. But while most of the rest of the world is soccer crazy, the US has mostly obsessed about four sports over the past century or so. The National Football League, the National Basketball Association, Major League Baseball, and the National Hockey League. What chance does Major League Soccer have of cracking that exclusive set? The most obvious data point to look at is franchise value. The NFL tops the list here. The most recent deal saw the billionaire David Tepper buy the Carolina Panthers for $2.3 billion back in 2018. When it comes to comparing the NHL and MLS, it's useful to consider franchise fees. That's how much owners pay to set up a new team. The newest MLS team, Charlotte FC, also coincidentally owned by David Tepper, cost $325 million in franchise fees. Over in the NHL, the Seattle Kraken's owners paid $625 million. That's clearly a big discrepancy, but the trend line here is interesting. Back in 2007, Toronto FC and Real Salt Lake paid just $10 million to join Major League Soccer. That means there's been a 30-fold increase in just 15 years. David Beckham got a bargain when he agreed a $25 million franchise fee in 2007 for his team that he opened almost a decade later. Inter Miami, when it started playing, was almost immediately valued at more than that amount. If it continues on that trajectory, MLS valuations will get pretty close to the NHL before too long. What about the audience? Well, there are two ways of thinking about this. There are the number of people who go to a game in person, and there's the broadcast audience. When it comes to stadiums, MLS teams tend to play in bigger arenas. That means the average audience per game is higher, but NHL teams play more games. When it comes to broadcast audience, Major League Soccer is catching up. It secured 233,000 viewers per game on average in the season so far. In the National Hockey League, it was 349,000 through April 4th, according to Nielsen. Of course, there are structural advantages that soccer has when it comes to securing an audience. It's pretty easy to grab a ball, throw down a bunch of sweaters for goalposts and have a kickabout. Hockey, a little bit harder. You need to have skates, you need padding, you need an ice rink. That means there are more young people playing soccer than there are hockey. But Major League Soccer has one major disadvantage to the NHL when it comes to broadcast rights. The national deals that it secures are bigger, but more significant still are its local deals. Individual franchises can make tens of millions of dollars per year from selling the rights to their games to their local markets. And because local stations only have a limited amount of cash and they're often paying much of that already to the top four leagues, they don't necessarily have the budget to spend big money on MLS games too. Major League Soccer is catching up to the NHL, but to crack that top four, it really needs to break into that local broadcast market. Mm -hmm.